Yo, Lane, how you be? Doing great. Enjoying the evening so far. All right, well, good. Tell your story. Well, I am the current Poet Laureate of Vallejo, California. Is that right? Yes. Man, this place is running over with Poet Laureates. Good. Good. And how long have you been in that capacity? I started in September 2017, and my term ends this August. Okay, and what are you going to do after that? Well, hopefully keep performing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I love doing this. So are you you published? I am published. I am currently working on my 12th book, and I recently put out an anthology that I edited, and it has 43 different talented writers from Vallejo and beyond. Mm, very good. And what is your website? My website is poetryebook.com. And when did you first know that you were poetic? When I was 11 years old. 11? Yes. So at 11, what kind of a poem did you write at 11? I was kind of writing really awkward song lyrics. I was writing imitations of the Beach Boys and imitations of country music because I grew up in the South. So that was my first lyrics right there. What part? What South? I, well, first I was born in Germany, then I lived in Texas, Louisiana. Most of the time I lived in Oklahoma, and after college I escaped out here. Oklahoma? Yeah. That's where I'm from, Oklahoma. Uh-oh. Yeah. I call it Oklahoma because it's sure enough is the South. <laughs> yeah. I grew up in Tulsa. Yeah, I yeah. grew up in Enid. Enid, all yeah. right. You were near uh, OSU, right? Or is well, it OU? OU's Norman and Stillwater's a little bit closer. All right, okay. Well, uh, what's up, homie? <laughs> Oklahoma. O- Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma. Shame on me. Uh, what do you want to read? I'm going to read a poem called The Snarkadelic Wordsmith Awaits the Penguin Whisperer. Oh, my goodness. That sounds dangerous. Anybody going to get hurt up in there? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, go ahead. Standing in the dark haze of the alleyway, Every breath sends a chilly fog into the night. The stars long since blotted out of the sky by manufactured neon bulbs flickering in their inconsistent rhythms like an erratic heartbeat, spooked by unknown sounds and thoughts, unchained in incessant regurgitation, lying awake at midnight between consciousness and dreaming. The mind rambles on like the city streets, never failing in their constant symphony of horns. The cries of those wandering souls, long since forgotten by the society that claims to care. The politicians, photo ops, guilt-driven good deeds, the jaded jerks with their assumptions of panhandling no goodniks, passing by in their $2,400 suits and brightly shined shoes, never giving a thought to the down and out. Sleep is a luxury in these days of 24-hour shifts. Electric suns destroying rhythms here since before time. Machines built without off buttons are clicking around the clock. Coffee cups are overflowing. Endless refills of a caffeinated generation walking past art and beauty in a haste, a waste. Laser focused on problems man-made and trivial. While eyes grow beat red, dead tired in a race to see what machinery will wear down its rusted elements. In a final cry of acquiescence, its bones and bolts no longer fit to serve. Taxis screaming down the street in a hurried impatience as I glanced toward the calm dance of a paper bag flying in the wind. The ever-present ticking of the silver-encrusted pocket watch hanging from the stranger's trench coat shakes me from my dream. Here he has delivered, in simple whisper, the keys that unlock that next lexicon, destined to pass from my weary fingers onto simple paper. As if on a mo- immovable cue by some divine puppetry, my reluctant muse, the penguin, disappears into the night, leaving this wordsmith waiting once again. Mm. Thank you. Uh, continued success to you and keep on writing. Thank you. And again, thank you for being here. And your website, one more time, is poetryebook.com. All right.